The man greeted my father and said, I'm also going there. If you like, I will guide you to get there. Fortunately, the stranger was also planning to go in Galigaon and he assisted them to reach in the Galigaon, which was the destination of Nilu and her parents. Thank you, my mother replied. My mother was happy because that stranger was helping and fortunately she got one more member for their trips. The man said the village with clustered house is Galegaon. See there is one word named clustered house. I already told you the clustered house is the house which is made in the same form. Example, uh, Durmu Suntali Foundation, which is made in Rauta Hut, Santapur. You can go to visit there. And uh, the Rai Gaon of Nisgar, uh, the Chaudhari village of our Nisgar, and the Tamang Society and the Rangla Society of uh, Ipil Gaon, you know, these are called clustered house. In Bengali, there is some houses in the, uh, there are some houses which is formed in the same style with wood, tiles. That is called clustered house, okay? It is located in the particular area like as the picture that we find in our book. It is situated at the northwest of Besi Sahar in Lamzun. Students, where is Galigaon? Yes, we have already heard the name of Galigaon, but where it is? It is mentioned here. It is in Lamzun. Okay? It takes about a five hour walk to reach their own food from Besi Sahar. How long does it take to reach there? If you wish to visit Kalegaon after reading this text, how many hours have to be spent to reach there? From Besi Sahar, it takes five hours. We can get there by bus too. We don't need to go on foot. If you wish to go, we can go by bus too. But if you plan for visiting some special place in our country Nepal, it's better to go on foot as a trekking. Then you can get more experience, whatever you see on the way, whatever the experience that you gain in that trip. So going to trip and journey on food is very, very meaningful, students. People who cannot walk can take a bus to go there. Almost all the inhabitants of Kalegaon are Gavre Gurungs. 
students there is one more word inhabitant inhabitant uh, means a particular community and people who settle in a particular area since long time a group of people who are settled in a specific place for their livelihood and if it, if it is make long history regarding their specialization and uh, identif identification is called inhabitant okay we can enjoy the journey with that man very much when they got one more man on the journey they were very excited because he was helping them to reach in Galegaon and he was talking with them and they are forgetting the tight needs that they got on the way. After about five hour work, we reached our destination, the place where they wanted to visit was Galegaon and they finally reached there. See, after four hour journey from Nizgard, we can reach in Kathmandu Valley. If the bus is run from the fast track, we can reach Kathmandu at one hour. And when we get down from the bus, we can get enjoy having the beauty of Kathmandu Valley, isn't it? So they also reached in Galigaon. We, why are they taking marigold garland with tikka? I asked my mother. See, when Nilu, when her parents and mother, sorry, when Nilu, her parents and that stranger went in the Galegaon, they treated by the Gabra Gurungs. And the question asked by Nilu to her mother. And question was, a question was asked by her, a question was asked by Nilu to her mother. Marigold garland, the marigold, it's a flower, it's a kind of flower and uh, we wear it in our festival named Tihar. When we receive Tika with our sister in Baitika in Tihar, we get it. Similarly, a marigold garland treated to the stranger Nilu, her parents, by the Gabru Gurung in the Gale Gaon. That is called hospitality of Gale Gaon. This is how they welcome their guest, my mother replied. Uh, the curiosity that Nilu had was asked to her mother and her mother replied her, my daughter, this is the specialization of Galegaon. When you come here for the first time, you are put garland of marigold on the neck here that is the hospitality of galigaon she like she told like that we were treated with proper hospitality we were served with fresh and delicious organic food they were hungry on the way and galigaon and its people see how serious they are how kind they are how educated they are how clever they are when you reach there they feed you because they know that this tourist and this person this people is hungry now and we have to feed them food for we have to feed food for them so they also treated by tasty foods, organic foods. What organic food is? Organic food are those foods which are poisonless, chemical-less, 
isn't it? Yes. Uh, okay, leave it now. We eat dal, bath, tarkari, achar with the gurung family. Yes, the normal food that we eat in our daily life was treated by Gabriel Gurung to them. We were the paying guests there. Yeah, because uh, they, they, they are the tourists for Galegaon. They went in Galegaon, but they had to pay some amount for the hospitality and the uh, assistance that uh, is, uh, you know, provided by the people of Gyabru Guru, taking and giving. This is called taking and giving. They perform their culture dance, mainly we observe at Gatu dance. The Gatu dance is the dance which is performed by the Guru community. Uh, Krishna, Chari, Akri dance and Lama dance. These are some dance and uh, cultural uh, specializations which are found in Galigaon when you go to visit there. They perform these kinds of dance for your entertainment to relieve your tiredness. In the end, we observed some typical round house there. This are some house over there. We also looked at the Annapurna Himalayan range. We can see the mountains named Annapurna range from there. Thus, we spent five days in homely environment in Lamzung and return home. So Nilu said that this she spent five days in Galegaon, she observed their culture, she observed their lifestyle, she observed their village, she observed the natural beauties of Galegaon, which was very green and lovely, wonderful, picturesque, isn't it? And they get back to the Birgans again, having a historical experience. So this kinds of experience, if you wish to write in the note copy, is called travelogue. Whatever the experience that I get in my life, in my journey, and uh, I, if I wish to write them in my notebook, is called travelogue. It will be more meaningful if you, if we wish to make as a movie, if we express our experience through movie, uh, study, serial and short movie, you know. So these moments and this experience, this uh, uh, way of writing, uh, our experience of our life of visiting some place after visiting some place is called travel students. Okay, now let me go forward. Let me go at page number four. There are some problems which are given and you need to do it, isn't it? There is a fill in the blanks, there is a match the following, there, question, there is question answer, okay? Match the following is very easy to do, okay? First, the words which are seen here, countryside, homestay, picturesque, exhausted, organic, cultural dances are there, okay? You search this word in your Google, through the mobile with the help of mobile and your laptop and you type there and Google will show you some important statements there that can matches with the statement which is mentioned here okay and you read the meaning of this word which are given here and try to write in the gap that exercise makes you perfect to understand and to solve the problem here. So number one, we can live with a Guru family in da 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 and learn their culture. So we can live with Ami Bosno Sokson with Guru family in a da 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 where in a restaurants, in a homestay. 
What is that? You can guess it and write it here. I think homestay is suitable for this space, isn't it? So number two, we can stay a night in this da -da 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 place. It reminds us for our culture. We can stay a night in this da -da -da village. What village is this? This is beautiful village. This is ugly village. This is boring village. What village is this? This is a picturesque village. Okay? Students, now let's go in number two. There is a match the following. Okay? The way and the ideas that I give you right now has to be applied in your life. Then you can fill this gap. Now in number two, there is a match the following and some words are there. One, two, three, four, five words are there. Okay? You do the same. What I say right now is do what I do. Then you can learn English. Impression, you can source in laptop and you can read this statement written here and guess it. You can match it easily. If you do this exercise at your home, you can complete this problem. You can bring the solutions, whatever we have in page number four. And number four, um, there is a question answer, isn't it? Let me help you how to write the answer there. There is question one. Where did the writer go on holiday? Did. First of all, if you are going to write question answer, you need to understand that in which tense the question is written. Then you can write that. Okay? Where did? And this did is made from do. And this is a form of do. Okay? Do, did done, doing, and DOS does. This is a verb two. This is one, this is three, this is four, and this is five. This is in the past tense. All the verbs which are found in the form two are called past verb, okay? So deed is there, and go is there, okay? Go also there. So, if do make did, if do makes did, go makes went, go, went, gone, g-o-i-n-z, going, and g-o-e-s, goes. This is in the form 2, okay, bob 2, this is in the position of bob 2. And this went is also is in the form two, verb two. Okay, this is one. Go is one, went is two, do is one, did is two. So, did is there in the question? Your answer should be went. Okay, so you write the writer, what subject is there, what object is there, that you need to understand. In the previous classes, we already taught you about tense, use of tense. That's why now I would like to write the answer here, searching the subject. Okay, you know that what subject is, what predicate is, what subject is, what verb is, what object is that we need to understand in English. Then we can learn English very easily. Okay, so the writer is subject teacher. The writer, who is there? So you will write went. The, write, the writer went. You replace, you, you remove the go and uh, you replace went here. Okay, the writer went where? Kathmandu, Pokhara, Nisgarh, Hetonda, Birgonj, Dulikhil, Ilam. Where did the writer go? 
Yes, the writer went to Gale G A U N Gaon Gale Gaon. Okay, on holiday on holiday isn't it so this writer is subject here and went is bob here to ghalegao on holiday is object there okay so you can tell subject this part this the writer went is subject and to galegao on holiday is predicate object and predicate predicate subject bob object or predicate should be known to you then you can learn english in the grammatical orders okay now let me erase it how many members were there on the journey who were they so how many people were in the journey for the first time there were three people one is nilu her father her mother and on the journey they met one stranger one person so total there are four people in the journey but you have to mention three for the first time why this travel of this journey this previous belongs to nilu and her parents for the first time so you can write directly f o u r for p e o p l e if you don't know how to write answer in grammatical form and order as for the way of writing question answer you can directly write for people okay or uh, you can write their subject is there there where uh, f o u r for p e o p l e people in the j o u r n e y journey who are they are they purushottam sir are they you no they were they were nilu her p a r e n t yes parents and s t r a n g e r stranger okay so according to this way you can write answer there of question number 2 Dear students, now let me go for three number. There is where was the writer from? Is writer from Japa? No. Is writer from Biratnagar? No. Is writer from Hetora? No. Is writer from Chapur? No. Is writer from Misgad? No. The writer was from Birgonj. Isn't it? Where are you from? Are you from Kathmandu? When I ask where are you from, you 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 reply, I'm from Nizgarh, I'm from Chapur, I'm from Hetora. So similarly, you can write there. The writer is from Birgans. Okay, it is very easy to write. Now, number D. Did the writer like Galegaon? Did writer, did Nilu happy seeing the picturesque village of Galegaon, seeing the 
natural scenes and beauty of Kaligaon? Of course, everybody was happy with Kaligaon and their hospitality, their culture, and their costume, food, isn't it? And the performance. So you can write the writer, yes, yes. And give comma, yes, the writer, L-I-K-E-D, liked. Because did is there in the question. If did make, if, if there is did, you can make this like of your question. L-I-K-E-D, liked. This is form two, verb two. Okay. This is because like becomes liked due to did. And yes, the writer liked Galigaon. How do you know? How do you know? Because, 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 the writer because the writer was happy saying the beauty of G H A L E G A U N G A O N. As he told us, the Galegaon was very beautiful, wonderful, and uh, good for visiting and very good for homestay. And she was so happy in the journey. So you can write because the writer was happy seeing the beauty of Gali Gaon can be the best answer. You can write your one answer. Okay. Uh, more than five statements uh, is matching to write the answer of question number uh, D after reading this text. So you can express your views and opinions after reading the text for the better answer. Okay. Number E, how were the writer and her parents treated in Goligaon? Yes, how did they treat it? When you go to the class, being as a teacher, how did teacher uh, treat by the students? Of course. The teacher pay respect with the word good morning sir, isn't it? Similarly, they were treated, uh, treated with better hospitality. Marigold garland was put on the neck of them, isn't it? So you can write the writer and her parents Treated with delicious food, uh, treated with uh, marigold garland, and treated with their uh, 